This video is about model drawing and parts whole approach to solving problem sums. Tom gave two thirds of his stickers to his sister. He gave four stickers to his friend and had two stickers left. How many stickers did he have at first? The fraction 2 over 3 or 2 thirds is very important and should be used as the first step for model drawing. 2 thirds means 2 parts out of 3 equal parts. There are 2 parts out of a total of 3 equal parts. The denominator tells you that there are 2 parts and the denominator tells you that there is a total of 3 parts. So the fraction 2 over 3 tells you that there are 2 parts out of 3 equal parts. So when you get the fractions 2 over 3, you should look at the bottom number first or the denominator. If the denominator is 3, draw 3 boxes. So 2 thirds means you draw 3 boxes and color 2, 2 being the denominator. So in this problem sum, where the fraction 2 over 3 is featured, automatically take out your ruler and pencil and draw 3 boxes and color 2. The two boxes represent the amount of stickers he gave to his sister, 2 out of 3. We can add the question mark on top of the three boxes because we want to find out how many boxes he have at first. The box which is not colored or not shaded represents the remainder after he has given the stickers to his sister. If we look at the uncolored or unshaded box which is the remainder, the four stickers that he gave to his friend and the two left behind must come from this one box. Since the last box contained four stickers that he gave to his friend and the two left behind, the last box itself must be equal to 6. If the last box is equal to 6 stickers, then we can say that one box or one unit is equal to 6 stickers. We can use the word boxes or units uh, interchangeably. They both mean the same. If one unit is equal to 6 stickers, then originally there were three boxes. Therefore, at first, three units or three boxes will be equal to six stickers times three. You might be wondering how one unit of six stickers becomes three units of six stickers times three. Well, for one unit to become three units, we will times three. And of course, on the other side of the equation, we must take six stickers and times three as well. Six stickers times three will give you 18 stickers. Therefore, 3 units is equal to 18 stickers. The 3 units represent what he had at first. Therefore, the answer is he had 18 stickers first. Let us consider another problem. Mr. Tan gave 3 over 5 or 3 fifth of his salary to his wife. He spent 2 thirds of the remainder on food and had $60 left. How much was his salary? Looking at the fraction 3 over 5 or 3 fifth, we know there's a total of 5 boxes. So we draw 5 boxes and color 3. The fraction 3 fifth or 3 over 5 tells you there's a total of 5 units or 5 boxes. It also tells you that 3 units out of 5 was given to his wife. The 2 boxes which are not shaded or colored is the remainder. Since Mr. Tan spent two-thirds of the remainder on food, we need to take the remainder and split into three boxes and color two. To do this, we will extend the two boxes that is the remainder down into one box and break this box into three equal parts because two out of three means there's a total of three equal parts. And two out of three also means that we draw three boxes and color two boxes. These two boxes which we colored in the three boxes represents two thirds of the remainder which Mr. Tan spent on food. Thus, the last box must be the $60 that's left behind. So to recap, 2 over 3 means we draw three boxes and we color two. And the last remaining box must be the $60 that's left behind. We can say that the $60 that's left behind represents one unit. 
since the remainder consists of three units, then uh, the remainder should be three units, which is 60 times three. To get three units, we take one unit times three. Likewise, on the other side of the equation, we will have $60 times three, which will give you $180. The next step is two boxes equals to $180. Now, how do we get two boxes is equals to $180? We can see that in the red ring, there are three boxes or three units. These three units have been brought down from the original remainder. Now, these three uh, units is actually equal to the two boxes. They are of the same size and they're actually the remainder. The two over five or two fifth, which was remaining after Mr. Tan gave to the money to his wife. So, they are actually the same. The three units and the two boxes are both equal to $180. So if two boxes is $180, then one box must be 180 divided by two, which is $90. The salary forms up a total of five boxes. So the salary is five boxes, which is $90 times five, giving you $450. So the answer to the question is Mr. Tan's salary is $450. Well, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Keep trying and don't give up. Till we meet again next time.